Father, thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. The book of Mark 14, verse 22, John 3, verse 11. We combine these two. Praise the Lord. Ask your neighbor, that neighbor, who are you here on earth? And who are you there in heaven? Yes, you need to know who you are here and you shall be there in heaven. Jesus came purposely to introduce you to this new life, the life of assurance, the life full of joy. Let me uh, tell you, verse 22, while they were eating, Jesus took the bread, and when he had Taken, sorry, when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples. Let me repeat my reading. This, this one is, is fighting me. While they were eating, Jesus took the bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples disciples, saying, take it, this is my body. 23, he took the cup, and when he had thanks, he gave it to them, and all drank from it. 24, this is my blood of the covenant, which is put out for many. He said to them, Take note of 24. This is my blood of the covenant, which is put out for many. You remember what I said? I want to make sure that you are not missing anything when it comes to this issue of, you know, covenant. You remember in John 3, verse 16, the Bible said that for God so loved the world that he gave is only, I mean, one and only son. That was the foundation of including you and me. Before now, it was only the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But the coming of Jesus made it possible for you and me to be now included to that family. We are part of that family now because of the blood of Jesus. This is my blood of the covenant, which is put out for many. He said to them, he was talking to the disciples, 22, I mean 25. Truly, I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. I will not take much of your time. But let me say one or two things. While they were, because people knew that he, a message like this one or scripture like this one should not be preached to anyone, not until when you are having a holy communion. No. We drink the blood of Jesus every day like food. How? When you read the Bible and you believe in the word you are reading from the Bible, you are drinking the blood of Jesus. It doesn't mean that not until you carry the cup and you drink it. In fact, sometimes most of the people who are, you know, taking part in that program. They are not even qualified to be the partakers of that Holy Communion. But because it is a program that has come inside the church, 
Everyone will look around to say, if I won't take this one, will say, ah, nishtabadi, so let me just take it. That is wrong. Jesus knew that without my life incited in my people, they have no life. Anything can fight them and bring them down. In fact, this world can mislead them and they are going to reject me and reject the salvation which has come very close to them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He gave it to the disciples after thanking God. And he said, take it. This is 22. Take it. This is my body. Jesus is talking. But he's giving them his word to be his life. If you accept my word, you are eating my flesh. He said, take it. That is blood. He said, Father, thank you. Mm, take it. This is my body. Take it. He was talking to them physically. But he said, this is my body. This is why most of the people who were there at that particular time, they could not believe in his language. Unless if it is given to you. It is very difficult to understand the spiritual language. They took it and ate it. Because they believed in Jesus. Are you telling me that at that time it was only his disciples who were there? Come on, people of God, read the Bible. How many people took part in that uh, last supper? Is it the whole entire Israel? I'm talking to you. Is it the whole entire Israel? No. Those who believe in him took part and they hate his flesh through his word. Believing his connection. Believing is possessed. What you believe is what you become. If you believe in argument, you'll be a professor of argument. Everything that comes along the way, you argue about it. That is what you, you believe. Hallelujah. He said, take it. This is my body. Verse 23. He took a cup and when he had I mean, given thanks, he gave it to them. And they all drank. In conclusion, in verse 24, this is my blood of the covenant, which is put out for many, not only you, but for the whole entire world, in short. For many, anyone that believes in him, you are part of that. People of God, don't be deceived. Anyone who does not believe in his word, even if you preach every day, you don't know what you are preaching. And when you believe in his word, the word will give birth to the power of God in you. Remember, the purpose of his coming, the law was not helping human beings because human beings are too clever. They are a very difficult nature to control. If you tell them that don't touch this one, you can touch here and there, but don't touch here. The law is there with you. You are not obeying the law. This is why Jesus now came with a new way of life so that no one should be deceived by this world or by your feelings because when you believe in his word, the Holy Spirit will be present now to manage your life. He said, this is my blood of the covenant, which is put out for many. Jesus came now as a sacrifice for our covenant. Are we in agreement? Are we in agreement? Jesus came as what? A sacrifice to eliminate what? Sin. Where you are making a covenant, sacrifice has to be done. And God Almighty made it possible that yes, my people, I'll provide. Just come, believe. I'll make a sacrifice for you. And he did it.
Now, let me take you to the book of John. I want to connect you to what people think sometimes when they know for sure that this is the way to go. But because of what you, you, you believe, friends, whatever, you'll be afraid of accepting the truth. You are not ready to be saved. You are ready to keep what? Friendship, relationship. It's better you go to hell and you keep the relationship. No. It's better I lose my relationship. I have lost a lot of friends. A lot. Listen to what Jesus said to this man who happened to be a leader and who came, you know, to Jesus and listened to what he was saying. And the man was convinced that this man is a Messiah. But he could not come out in the open to say yes. Verse 11. This is John chapter 3, verse 11. Are you there? Very truly, I tell you, we speak of what we know and what we testify to what we have seen. Sorry, let me read this one again. Very truly, I tell you, we speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen. Yes. But still you people do not accept our testimony. Jesus knew what he was talking about. I posed this question earlier, said, who are you here on earth? And who are you there in heaven? Because here, they know you as a pastor. What about in heaven? Because there must be a confirmation. They know you as a lawyer, as a teacher, a nurse, a doctor. That is here on earth. What about there in the kingdom of God? Who are you and who will you be? Because Jesus came to offload his life, which, you know, can link you or connect you to the kingdom of God. But you are rejecting his offer. And yet you are confessing that you are a child of God. You need to know who you are there in heaven. You know yourself here on earth. What about there in heaven? Are you a child of God? Are you a leader there in heaven? Are you an apostle there in heaven? That is the question. Here we can, I can deceive anyone, you can deceive anyone. But up there, you can't deceive anyone. Jesus told Nicodemus, he said, we speak what we know and we testify to what we have seen. But you people, still, you do not accept our testimony. In short, he was telling this man, that I'm from heaven. I've talked about heaven things. If you go down, he even talked about the heaven things. He said, still, you cannot accept our testimony. This argument about Christianity cannot take anyone anywhere. It is only your belief. And I want you to know this. Before anyone believes in what you are doing, you yourself, you are, must, you are supposed to be sure of what you are doing. If you are not sure and then you are forcing people to believe in what you are doing, then you, you too, you are a problem. Jesus knew what he was talking about. He came from heaven to this life up to today the foundation is there all the miracles that he performed we watch Jesus movie even if you are not reading the Bible uh, because I know that uh, there are few who read the Bible you are good in watching you like movies that's why they now simplify the story of Jesus I think he tend to appeal a movie because what the mama movie you watch this movie of Jesus, the story, all the miracles that he performed up to today, there are people are saying this one is not true. This one is not true. Jesus can do anything. Are you there? He said, this is my blood. Drink it. This is my flesh. Take it. What does it mean? Jesus offloaded his life to his disciples. 
He knew that ngana fuma po tabaka shale ba ikala na shimibili shabwe shana kidadimo. Baka shala baba chimtia kuchalo. Kamba peri omubili wandi. No omulo po wandi na uri omulo po alube mbu na finyamu mulibena. Tekuwa fatika no muari omu kate. Elu nomba mwashu hati na ari omu. Mule muna bantu ofyo venda. Where is the camera man? Let me start from there. Uh-huh. Watch this. Mule muna bantu ofyo venda nga wafuma mpoko omu kate. For example, a paper di omu kate wapoka. Mwane nombo kwenda. Ushefo mkalae ndana kunse. Mwana muna pa kwenda. That is human being for you. It is not your step. It is your heart. What you believe is what you become. What you are showing us, you are deceiving us that, oh, you are holy now because the holy communion is in your mouth and yet you are not even holy. See the way you are walking. Just walk the way you walk. The secret is in your heart. Hmm? Who are you deceiving? Inside your heart you know that they don't know me in heaven. Even here on earth, no one knows that I'm a child of God. I deceive my people and deceive myself. Walking cannot make you holy. It is what you carry inside your heart. Hmm? Is it true? <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Let's ampale. Ah, bambi para penat. Afuma muku poko mukate bale posho munabo. Bantu bale bako serious. Baba kari pire kuaba. Ah, what is wrong? Stop pretending. This pretense cannot make you holy. It is what you carry inside. You want to show people that you are holy. You are a child of God, and yet the blood of Jesus is not even in you. You walk like this. Gamafka kunga that we infunya munchira le loni achuba kuchintamba. Fofi ne fen dekweba. Ah, see them. Naka swata ka weni shina batukana. Because you are pretending. If it is holiness in you, you cannot. You cannot. Jesus said, "Take it," and they took it. So this is uh, our message. I'm encouraging you. Don't carry Christianity, you know, I mean, display your Christianity to people to see you that you are a child of God. Let heaven know you that there's a daughter here on earth, there's a son here on earth who is calling our mission. Who are you there in heaven? Here on earth, you know who you are. What about there in heaven? That is the question, people of God. Look at what is happening all over the world. I was reading the Bible this morning where the disciples, you know, follow Jesus and ask him private to say, Master, tell us, what is the sign that you are coming back again? He said, okay, you will see this. Kingdom will rise against kingdom. A sign will rise against the father. Uh, this rise country, king, you hear earthquake, a uh, natural disaster. This is what is happening. But he said, that is not the end. That is the sign. That is not what? But it is a sign. So watch and pray. Be the partakers. If you, you know you drink the blood of Jesus, you can walk the way you know you walk every time, but your character will be like Jesus. Everything will be like Jesus. Even when it comes to decision making, you cannot make any decision that can offend the Holy Spirit. No, because the life of Jesus is part of you. Thank you. God bless you.